Ah, uh, feeling a little bit like swirly and weird. How you feeling? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you know, fuck, man. My current state of mind is, uh, I know these questions came before the COVID-19 thing, and I'm sorry I'm getting these in so late, but, uh, my current state of mind is we're all fucked. And, uh, nothing's ever gonna be the same again. Hopefully this will all end soon, and we won't have to face any more and deal with any more people passing and, and, and getting sick, you know. Um, well, I don't really have any regrets. I don't like to live in regret. I think regret's a bad place to stay and be. I forgive myself if I've ever done anything any, anything wrong to the world or to anybody else, you know. I, I, I've forgiven myself and I don't like, I'm not a sorry person or a, a regretful person or that kind of shit. I just try to do the right thing and when I can, I do it, you know. Well, um, it's how the record, um, okay, hell comes to your heart. There was 2,000 pressed and then 1,000 pressed, the second pressing of it on CD only. And, um, and there was 300 pressed on vinyl on No Balls Records. So that's 3,300 records total in the whole wide world. And I think the songs are good and deserve to reach more people if they can. So that was the motivation behind releasing these songs, again, different versions of them, but these songs, again, because there was only 3,300 of them worldwide. And it's long gone and out of print, and um, not many people have it, just 3,300 people. Um, maybe you feel differently, I don't know. I think it's, it should reach more people, and I hope it does. Releases so close together are not a good idea, but then again, it's not really a bad idea because, well, I don't have, you know, a bunch of money to push the record and put ads out there and let everybody know it's out and this and that. So it doesn't really matter which record comes out first or second or the same time. It's like, you know, people are either going to get it or they're not. And, um, and and not many people are going to know about it. And now with the COVID-19 thing and, and people getting sick, it's it's kind of taking a back seat. So the, it's like as if the release never came out, really, um, which is a shame. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Well, Slayer Hippie from Poison Idea produced it, which makes it unique. He's a great drummer, and, and I love the Poison Idea stuff. Like, Feel the Darkness, I think, is one of the greatest hardcore records of all time. He produced that years ago, and uh, he's gotten much better as a producer and stuff. So it's like, you know, it's fucking, it is what it is, man. It's, it, it just makes it unique. And plus, Mike and Mike helped me write the record, which is, normally I have to write all this stuff with Mondo. It makes it kind of take a backside seat, you know. And so this way, uh, it was a lot it, more of a band effort, and I think that made it unique in itself. And take no shit. Don't take shit from people. That's my motto. And try to enjoy yourself. Have a good time. The world's fucked, and uh, good times are few and far between these days, in isolation at least. I'm saying fuck it as a, as just like a, ah, oh, fuck it, man. Can't change it. It is what it is, you know. That kind of vibe. Right on. That's, that's, that's a great compliment. I, I, I take that as a huge compliment because I like psychedelic rock. I like the Dead Kennedys and, and I love the Stooges. So, you pop. Great. It's fantastic. Whoever wrote that, thank you. Um, well, the main influences for fuck it in, as a as a whole were like you know stuff from my early bands of Caius and some Queen early Queensy shit and uh, some Dwarf style stuff. I mean, you know, there's lots of stuff that uh, you know, uh, and, and the lyrics are basically written about like you know things that I've gone through, things I'm going through, and, and having some fun and trying and going through different moods. Like there's some heavy shit, there's some fast stuff, there's some intense stuff, there's some aggro stuff, there's some mellow stuff, there's some flowing stuff, there's some you know, it's all dark at the end of the day. It's all dark matter.
well, we were planning on touring more. We were going to go to Spain and Portugal and Ireland and places we didn't hit on the last um, Euro tour. And uh, and we had some stuff planned in the States, but that's all taking a backseat, as you know, due to uh, COVID-19. Yeah, I plan on doing it steadily and consistently as soon as this virus thing passes. Hopefully we can get back on the horse and do this, you know. Hopefully people have money to go out and to go to shows and be able to buy a ticket and get in, you know, because nobody's going to have any money sitting at home not working, you know. So it's going to be a tough time to get shows back up and running again. It, most clubs are going to be closed probably from now on. And a lot of people are out of work and a lot of clubs and mom and pop places are going to be closing down. Smaller clubs that Mondo generated play at are going to be gone forever. Things are changed. Things are, the world has changed the way we know it. And, uh, I don't know if bands are going to be able to get started back up again, you know, not making any money to survive. Um, this is my job. You know, I play in the dwarves and I play in Mondo and, and, and Blast and I, I try to do as much stuff as I can that I like because uh, it's my job and I need to make money um, to survive and pay my bills and shit, you know. Um, Mondo Generator, uh, Queens of the Stonies haven't been around for, I haven't been with them for 17 years, so... You know, this is my, my, my job and, and, and I can't work right now, as you know. Well, I've been playing bass on a hardcore record here at my house. Slayer Hippie on drums from Poison Idea. And this guy on guitar is really good. A band out of Portland. I'm just playing bass on it from here at the house and sending them the wave stems. And I sang a song too, so it's, it's pretty interesting, cool stuff. Good hardcore. Um, and I just sang a song for a, an Italian band actually this morning and sent that to them. And, uh, I do lots of stuff here from my house. I, I don't, I'd like to work with Mark Lanigan again. That'd be great. I, don't, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that I want to work with that I haven't worked with. Chris Goss would be great. People like that I'd like to work with again, but that's about it. And, um, Thank you for your questions. Your questions are pretty cool. And um, you give a good interview. And, uh, whoa, dude, I'm all trippy, dude. Ah. Anyways, uh, I'm feeling weird. <laughs> Have a good day and stay safe out there. And hopefully we can meet after this corona thing passes, hopefully soon. And um, I wish everybody safe health. Cheers, y'all. Bye.